Okay, good. We're ready to do our live news for the week. Um, this time we're going to do it a little bit different. You know, we always do it a little bit different, I think. Uh, I have today with me Vicky and Lawrence from our team. And we're going to spend a lot of time talking about Douyin and what makes videos popular on Douyin, which is something that Vicky knows about especially. <sighs> and we're also going to quickly cover a new feature on Baidu. Actually, it's not new, but it's, it's new to me. And we're going to talk about the services market in China at the end. Okay, so first um, I'm going to share this stuff about uh, Baidu with you guys. Okay, Vicky, Lawrence. Um, yeah, sure. So I, I didn't realize that the original um, verification system on Baidu was gone and they have something else going on here. Um, what's happening is Baidu will usually have a, a bow, little guarantee icon here. It's just not showing on my computer, but it would, it would show up right here. And it's really convenient for consumers because what this does for them is if basically if they get screwed over f by clicking this ad and making a purchase from this, this company, um, they can get some money back later. They can get up to 10,000 yuan back and, uh, they could do that up to eight times per year, even if they wanted to. So that's cool. Um, for advertisers, it's kind of a risk, but it's it's a benefit to them too because it brings more trust to Baidu. Um, the risk is that if they do happen to do something wrong, or, you know, if someone reports them, they could lose some money. They could lose 10,000 yuan. They could uh, have their advertising account shut down or paused. And Baidu doesn't have to just ask for that money either. They could take it out of their ad credit that they have, right? Um, it looks like not many people have used this because I was asking our team um, and there's millions of clicks worth of data there. And it seems like this feature was only ever used twice and uh, it was only ever successful once and it wasn't for a high value of money, right? So I don't know. I don't know if many people use it in for certain industries or anything, but we haven't seen it used very much. I like it though, because it just adds mm -hmm. some additional trust to Baidu. Also, there's no there's no special sign-up process for it. Uh, I mean, there there is a special sign-up process, but we get it done when we do the account setup for new companies too. So we don't have to go through another sign-up process after. It's just It's just done for everybody. So this is optional, right? Like if adver advertisers can choose whether they want to sign up for it or not. Uh, I think that it's for all advertisers now. I don't know if there's some way for some advertisers to not get into it, um, mm -hmm. but I think all of them that are that are signed up now through Baidu's current processes are going to be enrolled in this. Okay, so anyone that clicks on the advertisement, they kind of get. Uh, more trust with it because they're like, okay, Baidu protects my rights here. Yeah, anybody that sees it. Okay. Um, and just mm -hmm. the, it has a little bow, the Chinese bow icon. It's not just not showing up on my okay. screen, but that's what would show there normally. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but maybe the reason that nobody that maybe the reason that we didn't see uh, actual consumers using this feature is because they don't actually know about it or they don't pay attention to it. Uh, and the other thing is that for it to work, they have to be logged in to Baidu. Oh, okay. Right. So I'm sure that Baidu wants to, them to do that so that they can track the data, but also because they have more people logged in and then they're going to understand their, their users better, right? I just wonder if this feature means that maybe some industries that were previously restricted from Baidu will now have a possibility to advertise with this feature turned on. Mm. It, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Mm. It seems like still, if it, if it's finance or gaming or something like that, it's going to be hard for them to sign up on here. Um, actually, I have a question regarding to the registration. So uh, I, I think Tate just mentioned about you have to set up a registration account for Baidu. Do we have to do that in the very beginning if you are investing in China as a business or you have to like starting from zero or you have you can just probably check on something first then you set up account later is that the possible case the, the consumers or the businesses the businesses 
Um, so this would normally be set up for them when they set up a paid search account on Baidu. But they okay. they could also set it up. They could also set it up even if they don't have a paid search account. They could still go through the processes and do it. Uh, that would be less restrictive for them. And I think that it would have some benefit for SEO too. I'm not saying that I know that it has a direct correlation with, with SEO results, but I think that even if it doesn't, adding the trust icon in there should increase the click-through rate and the trust in the site, and that should have some indirect benefit for SEO. This was a clip from our live weekly chat about China digital culture, technology, and marketing. If there's something you'd like us to chat about, just let us know and we might talk about it. Most of the content we cover is based on questions from our clients and newsletter subscribers. Besides that, give us a subscribe if you want, because we're doing this live Thursdays and Fridays, depending on where you are. Thanks. See you later.